Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh! Hi there, it's Timmy Joe, making videos about computers on the internet. And in 2017, oh man, it was an awesome year for me. It was an awesome year for computers. It was a bad year for some other things. But well, you know, I just wanted to come in and say hi and, you know, uh, you know, end 2017 with a little video, a little retrospective on my favorite thing about 2017. And that is the computer processor. There were some insane advancements, not so much advancements, but yeah, there were advancements, but uh, there were some insane gains in performance per dollar that really made 2017 amazing for the computer processor, especially when so many other things were going wrong. We had very high RAM prices, we had uh, a graphics card apocalypse, okay, with uh, mining, we had Donald Trump elected, pr no, wait, shut up. Well, don't talk about that. Even worse though, RGP everything. <laughs> in 2017 oh my god anyways so we had some bad stuff happening but amd the launch of ryzen was a very good thing for everybody very much including myself because it really kick-started the content for computers on my channel and it reignited a love i had of messing around with computers and uh overclocking everything and getting the most out of uh your computer for the least amount of money so you know i just want to thank amd for that but there are some caveats to that we were waiting around for amd to do this for a long long time and we're still waiting for them to do that in the graphics card department they botch jobbed vega it's still impossible to buy it it's barely faster than a 1080 at stock speeds and it sucks twice three times the amount of juice while doing it like they have some improvements to make in 2018 but we'll hopefully see that there are also some ipc gains that we need to see in ryzen as well because ryzen you know it's awesome it has a lot of cores but games and programs are still even uh, adobe premiere is not well optimized for several cores and it's lovely that there are a bunch of cores on a ryzen processor you know but if they're not being utilized and if you know things don't go in that direction uh, then it's, it's no good to anybody. But I think the industry has definitely trended that way. And AMD has Intel shaking in their booty. So I wanted to take you back real quick to the beginning of 2017 and show you just how far we've come. So at the beginning of 2017, uh, buying an AMD processor was basically out of the question. You were dealing with Excavator and a very aging platform, no DDR4 support, no NVMe drive support, you know, limited PCIe lanes and, uh, you know, PCIe generation was, uh, you know, behind. It was a bad time for AMD. And Intel was just sitting back there, cock of the walk, you know, rule of the roost, thinking no one could touch them. And if you wanted anything over four cores, eight threads, you were going to pay through the freaking nose for it. So, uh, you know, Skylake was, uh, you know, pretty much the same as uh, KB Lake. And we saw some very dramatic IPC improvements, some clock speed improvements from Intel this year. But, uh, you know, we saw KB Lake come out and everyone was pretty underwhelmed. And if you wanted uh, to get a high end processor, you were going Broadwell E. And uh, eight cores cost $1,089, uh, you know, for eight core 16 threaded processor. And the motherboards were expensive. And if you wanted 10 cores my god you're crazy it was seventeen hundred dollars for that and along comes Ryzen. boom blows through the door eight cores 16 threads for 329 dollars to 499 depending on the amount of x's you wanted in your processor name pretty much very little difference between a 1700 and an 1800x as far as I can tell, a lot of people get 1800Xs and can't even hit 4 gigahertz, and people with 1700s are hitting 4.1 gigahertz. You know, it's kind of up in the air as to what was really going on there, but there were some problems, you know, there were some memory issues and compatibility in the beginning, but right out of the gate, this looks very well. You For $329 plus a $100 motherboard, you were up there with, uh, you know, a platform in Broadwell E. Uh, that costs 1700 or, or you know so dollars for an, a 10 core or uh, $1,000 for an 8 core that's that's awesome 
and you know then there was a whole you know trickling down of the Ryzen 5 systems for even less it was it was pretty awesome so Intel shaking in their booties and they released this x299 platform and everyone's scratching their heads and it's pretty much a paper launch and their high-end you know processor on that had 10 cores but it's like they added all these ones above it that uh you know had no real information and uh, all of a sudden the prices are coming down so that was good for everybody and i myself own an x299 uh you know uh, core i7 uh, 7740x you know I didn't buy it. I wouldn't have chose that. But it gives me the option that later on I can get a pretty cheap, like, 8-core processor and, you know, s still have quad-channel memory support and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, that that's neither here nor there. So they launch, uh, and all of a sudden, a 10-core you know, uh, part doesn't cost 1700 It costs 1000 So Ryzen really shook things up. All of a sudden, for nearly half the price, you're getting the same type of processor in the, uh, you know, Skylake X department so that's pretty cool but amd was not done threadripper comes along oh my goodness i had a threadripper 1950x and i gotta tell you the excitement i had over ryzen uh you know was nothing compared to the excitement i had over testing the 1950x 60 cores 32 threads seeing a cinebench run just go like it was insane now this is unattainable and really unneeded by 99% of people. I'm a video editor and, and an image editor, and uh, Ryzen 7 1700 is good enough for me, okay? Now, there are some clock speed advantages to other platforms and what have you, but, you know, for, for uh, the average prosumer, Ryzen 7 is just a saving grace. It's awesome. But the fact that they even, you know, doubled their core count for $1,000, you know, uh, when 10 course cost a thousand dollars from intel was just a huge bombshell this year and i like that that's the real story as far as i'm concerned threadripper but i'm hoping in 2018 we definitely see some frequencies increased on ryzen so that brings us down to uh well the high end releasing on the x299 platform we had the uh 7980xe at 18 cores 36 threads 36 threads, yeah uh for two thousand dollars now that that's totally unattainable and a ridiculous number but it's so cool that it exists and to see you know uh intel come back and just one up threadripper even if it's twice the price is pretty cool uh but the real story from intel near the end of the year here was coffee lake coffee lake takes you know at the beginning of the year you had skylake you know maybe 4.8 gigahertz four cores eight threads at the high end all of a sudden you got six cores 12 threads clocking well over five gigahertz that's a huge leap even for intel you know at the same price range and all of a sudden core i5s are six cores and the four core is dead unless you want to get an i3 well it's not even dead it won't be dead till like 2020 if you know games by then are even taking advantage of more cores so uh, it was just an insane year, over 40 consumer processors, and that doesn't even count uh, the whole Epic line coming from AMD, and there was a whole Xeon revamp too, so uh, it's just the computer processor has just gone through, I can't even imagine uh, 2018 coming up with anything better than 2017, so unless Ryzen all of a sudden is clocking near 5 gigahertz and uh, you know has 10 cores or 12 cores for the same price, like that's ludicrous. It's totally unneeded at this point. And the, you know, when Premiere and Photoshop aren't taking advantage of all these more cores and games aren't, it would be pretty cool if they, they started going that way because Intel and Ryzen and AMD and the Threadripper, all these processors have come out and really changed the game in 2017 but that remains to be seen so i'm at watching me join instagram and twitter i bid you guys adieu i thank you very much for watching my videos this year i went from 4,000 subscribers to 22,000. that is ridiculous and in 2018 i'm hoping to hit the 100 mark so keep watching the videos keep liking them but you know i'll just keep plugging away and making these videos and i'm sure y'all keep watching because Hell, we all love it, right? We all love playing video games, having fun, and I'll see you guys next year.